Hey guys, there's a hell of a lot to cover in this episode, so hold tight. It all started when I was at Viva La Rock a little while ago. Uh, I was working up in London in the offices and got a little message from a manager of a man called Fantastic Negrito, who's an incredible blues singer, He's come over from America. He's just won a Grammy um, and I was invited guest list to go and see him play in London and to interview him and of course since I was in London anyway I wanted to make a day of it so I went along and met him and it was absolutely amazing actually really motivational um, great interview we were just hanging out backstage eating hummus and drinking green tea and um, it was pretty surreal actually but a lot of fun and the gig was amazing as well hey guys so I'm staying in this little apartment in Kensington today and it's quite nice quite clean Quite cheap. Um, I need to go out and get some supplies. Beers definitely required for a night in this room. Uh, maybe some chocolate and Monster Munch as well. Tomorrow I have an interview with the Cribs, and today went really well. I had I'm selling the Mazda, the car, because um, obviously for the trip I need to pay for a few more flights. We've already had loads of interest, so it'll be goodbye to my car, Ziggy Stardust. Today my agent called me with a new booking, which was confirmed, so we just have to sign the contract on that. So the DJing is going well. And apart from that, I had a lovely week. Met loads of lovely people as usual. The show went amazingly. The social media is blowing up for Way Out Radio. It's got like 150 new likes just while I was at work. And it, uh, that's never happened to me before. It's like the message is really getting out there. It feels like it's taking on a little life of its own yet. I don't, I don't want to speak too soon, but that's what it feels like. So that's cool. So um, after I stayed in that hotel in Kensington, um, me and my friend went out for the day. Uh, we went and did Abbey Road. We did Rough Trade East, uh, checked out some records. We hung out in Camden. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, it's good to have a good day out in London and do music stuff, like walk where the Beatles walked. That night I had to interview uh, Gary Jarman on the phone because he's in Portland. Um, so I interviewed him for about 40 minutes. It was a lot of fun. A uh, very inspiring man. Um, he really has his feet on the ground. Um, so that was absolutely lovely. And then Gary's record label sent me a goodie bag of CDs which included the Pixies new album and a Cribs album which had a DVD with it as well, which is really cool. So the most exciting thing that happened was the great mighty Penny Rambo came on the show and hang out with me for like the afternoon. So it was amazing to just chill with my hero. Um, we sat in the Weatherspoons and had tea together. That was also very surreal. Um, we had a great interview. It was really inspiring, really interesting and just one of those perfect days, which is almost like a dream, where you just come away from it thinking, did that really happen? That was amazing. So then after the Penny Rambo interview, the next day I head up to Hastings for a weekend with my band, and we had an absolutely brilliant time. Friday night we played a show, and then after that we did a DJ set together. Um, it was a lot of fun, and loads of people down there were really, really cool and had a great time. Then the next day we filmed a music video. So we hired out this church hall. Um, it was really cool, like the space. It was really like old fashioned and interesting. And I really enjoyed making that video, so it was a lot of fun. So then that night, the whole band, we went down to the pub in Hastings and caught a load of really awesome bands. One had a really cool girl drummer who was absolutely ace in it. And then I bumped into Amy from Made of Ace, so that was really nice to see her. I interviewed her a few years back and we bump into each other from time to time. Then on the Monday, um, I was back down in Wokenham and I got a text message from my friend CJ Dredd, who is a DJ on Kane FM radio. And he texted me and he said that he and the Boomer Bass crew, which is Tiger Eye and Squeaky Clean alongside him, they were supporting Lee Scratch Perry at the Boiler Room in Guildford that night, but it was sold out. So by a stroke of luck, a friend of mine just gave me a ticket. Um, so it was really jammy that I managed to get in that night and see them. And I just had a lot of fun. Then on Thursday, I was back doing my Way Out radio show. And I had some lovely guests, as usual. Um, I met up with this band called Sleepy Folk. They're an up-and-coming alternative folk band with a beatboxer. Oh, Oh. 
So if you like what you heard and you fancy checking out the radio show, you can listen back to the previous interviews with Sleepy Folk, Penny Rambo and all the other shows if you get yourself over to mixcloud.com slash wayoutmusic or you can head over to wayoutradio.com as always.